All right, Ruckman, here we are with another YouTube video. Uh, my name is Chris. As I said before, I'm here with my BFF Ruckman. We are part of Crew 3 Podcast. Fancy the logo you can see in the bottom right there. And if you're not already checking us out, you should check us out on uh, your favorite podcasting service. You can get us anywhere and now on YouTube. So, Ruckman, what do we got for the people today? Yeah, so for the people today here, uh, you, you and I... In conversation, we both have a love of Monastery Mentor, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, her little brother, the young PZ himself. The young Sleazy. And uh, so what we're trying to do here is, it's just a quick little burn deck here, uh, trying to just play some cheap spells into making a bunch of little dudes mm -hmm. that we just transform our opponent with. Pretty straightforward here. Uh, if you want to see, we'll start, the deck just goes up to three, three of C's where we top out, right? A whopping three we're, here. Yeah, like, like you said earlier, you know, our other decks have been like across the across the screen here we, we were just, laughing because we've yeah had all the space yeah, we, over here filled up we, and we now just, we're like, we just oh. we just stopped at the free slot we'll just make so, this card preview viewer large mr kitty approves yeah so uh we're just running a a lean 21 lands here we'll start with the lands 21 lands here mm -hmm. we've got some sacred foundries inspiring vantage battlefield forges a uh, bunch of mountains and two castle ember to boost our small guys uh we're going with the battlefield forges that we haven't gotten to play with in our other decks because Hey, we get some more untapped lands this time. There we go. That our other decks have been seriously, I feel like, missing out. Uh, so then our one-drop slots, we have Monastery Swift Spear and Soul Scar Mage uh, to the Monored All-Stars. And if we're going to be slinging a bunch of spells, especially burn spells, we might as well be bringing some Soul Scar Mages and Monastery Swift Spears, right? That we should. Uh, and of course, for the burn package, we have four Shocks, four Wild Slashes, uh, and then we kick it over to our twos. We have... Four Boros Charm to help save our guys, deal some four damage, maybe even give a double strike to uh, a yeah. big Monastery Mentor. This card does a lot in our deck, that's for sure. Yeah. It's protection, it's four damage, it's prowess triggers, it's Mentor Young Peasy triggers. Mm -hmm. It does it all, right? Does it all. And then we got some Bone Crusher Giants. All-Star. Uh, which, is, which is a good threat, even yeah. without the text box. Mm -hmm. And then it's got the two damage spell on the front end. And then to help keep our hand filled back up, we're playing four Light Up the Stage. Mm-hmm. So we have quick cheap burn spells to get that easy spectacle. So it's more than likely we're going to be able to cast this for one, right? Right. Then we're going to get two extra cards and keep going. Uh, then to round out some of our spells here, we've got two gods willing. Well, and a card, a card that Chris doesn't agree with, but I think it's going to be a great way to use up our graveyard in a one of Satyr's Cutting. A shout out to that mono red deck that took down a Grand Prix uh, about a month ago at this point, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's just a good way just to use up our graveyard and get rid of some empty threats. And then, yeah, a lean 21 lance. So, pretty me. straightforward here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, this is kind of our first version of the deck. I think we're going to work on this a little more because we love Monastery Mentor. I was advocating for a version with a little bit more of a cantrip um, approach, but that might be a little too cute. Uh, I think this makes us a little more aggressive getting having the burn package, but we'll see. I, we, I, I am interested to see if we're going to discover we have too many of this shock type effect and want to play a little more of this God's Willing type effect, but we're going to run it through some uh, some practice cues and uh, see what we get. So we'll yeah, see you guys then, uh, back here for match one. Oh, we forgot the sideboard. We oh, the sideboard okay, here. gotcha. Oh, man, there's some sick ones over here. Yeah, uh, we have... Uh, Two rest in peace, mm -hmm. uh, three fry, mm -hmm. two uh, collected defiance, yep. two Chandra torch defiance, mm -hmm. and then that's it. Yeah, that's the only cards in the set. Oh, hold on, Ruckman. What? What is this card right here? What is? Uh, that's uh, that's a rampaging frost on. That's a rampaging frost on our token sideboard, huh? Oh, well, you you see, it has it's a three three for three with Menace, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, players can't gain life. They can't gain life. That's super hot. That's super hot. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, I think we should board this in every game. Let's just let's oh, just bring that one in there. We probably, we probably should be main boarding it. Mm, yeah, we should. We should just throw it throw it right over here. Who in, needs this in, monastery uh, in mentor? All, in all honesty, I wasn't thinking about it uh, hitting us off the triggers. <laughs> uh, but you know, we're. We're being optimistic. If here. this was real life, what we would do is just play this uh, like men or women, whatever you prefer, and we would just look at our opponent every time we played a creature and made them see it. Wait, do we have to know our own triggers now? How does magic work? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we do. We have to. Yes, Man. we do. It's a back trigger, in the day. So we have to. Back in the day, you could just see if your opponent missed it and catch all your opponents. Like if they played a creature, well, you would just have actually, them take no, a damage. Because that's a detrimental trigger to you, so you always have to remember it, bro. So I remember. I know you don't know this, but there was a time before detrimental triggers, <laughs> and it was just everybody's responsibility to know everything. Uh, okay, that's right, how it worked. All right. all right. Well, now now that we've gone over this magnificent sideboard of ours, we'll see you guys back here for match one. All right, we're here for another uh, for our first game here. That's and uh, it. we lost the lost the die roll. Sad face. 
uh, this hand yeah, we back. No, yeah. One of the things I, we might consider for later is trimming down to 20 lands, just so we cap it at 3, lands, maybe. Yeah, that would maybe. be right. Um, this is probably a fine 6. Swifty, Swifty maybe. Shock. It's like the same thing plus a, plus a Swift Spear. Yeah. I mean, it's an upgrade. Yeah. Um, and we could probably get rid of the Battlefield the Forge. Forge. Yeah. All right. You have to click OK. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sorry, I was looking at my card preview on the other screen. We're not going to do anything on their turn, so go out, go for it, opponent. Do your worst. What is this plane's one? What is it called? Rowan is like the name uh, of it. That's Will and Rowan. Will and Rowan. That's right. Yeah. Like, let's well, it's just the Royal Seance. Well, I know it is, but the on the Planeswalker line, Ricky was telling us yeah. it's like a legendary it's Planeswalker Will. Will and Rowan or something like that. Yeah, because there there have been Will and there have been Rowan Planeswalkers. Have there been? Because. Yes. Oh, cool. Their first printing, they were separate cards in Battle Bond. Oh, nifty. Ooh. Some Zombsters. Zimbabwe. Should have played that. That's okay. Yeah. We can just play next turn. That's yeah, fine. we can. Oh, we're going to get a beat down on. Yeah, we are. Then we're going to hit them with those shocks. Shocks. This... Shocks. 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 Ha. 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 We're back at it. We're back at the BL. Don't think I forgot. Don't I think didn't. I forgot. We out here. All right, let's have our honest to goodness aggro matchup here. We out here in the bio. Bio. Yeah. Shock, shock, shock. Go for it. Yeah, we'll take two. We're uh -huh. still winning. Uh huh. Uh huh. Show me a scrap heap scrounger. Oh yes. In zombies though. Oh yeah, right. So it's the whole thing. What is that. this? Oh, it's it true this. zombie tribal. Yeah. All right. I think we got to kill that one. Yeah. No, that eat, that eat, that eats a shock. That we're eats gonna a play shock? second. We're gonna play second swift spear, shock it, and then go. Oh man. No, no, no. Second swift spear. <sighs> second swift spear. Stay on target. Stay on target. All right. All right. Shock, shock now, so they don't block. Shock. We're gonna be doing that all day. Oh, I don't have to remember my triggers? They just happen no. now? Yes. Sick. Oh, our opponent's sixth. Fair. Boom. Take yeah. four. There it is. There it is. Boom. Alright. We would like to draw action, but even if we don't, I'm down to just cast this thing for three. Uh, no, I think we just play land, swift spear, attack, and then light up the stage. I don't want to throw it Depends a... on what their yeah, depends depends on on follow play is. Throw... I don't necessarily want to throw away a swift spear, but... The problem is, though, like, if we could just hit a shock off of casting it right, mm -hmm. and just kill their dude. Yeah. My thought is, like, he can't necessarily profit... The, the, no, but here's the thing. We're just spending three mana to do nothing, then? Well, we get to play the cards till our next turn. Okay, so, like right. we could well, we could we could play them on our next turn if we wanted to. Sure. That's that's why I like that. As we get in for four, he'll go to nine. We'll okay. have two more cards for next. That's my thought process. Okay. All right. Then do what you want. Is that acceptable. Uh, that's acceptable. I still think it's bad, but okay. All right. Let it be known. Let it be known. This this play was made in protest. You guys can let me know in the comments if this is a. I'm a patsy. Play. I'm a patsy. <laughs> Can't block these two threes now, can you, Wayward Servant? Huh? 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 Missing land drops over there. Huh? What you got? What you got? Got nothing. Hmm? We're waiting on you. These spears be swift. Ooh. Oh. We're about to find That's out sweet. how this works. <laughs> I mean, we can't... We can't like, it... We still cast it. Actually, hold on. No, that's it. That is interesting. I know, right? I mean, we're still gonna cast it. <laughs> yeah. But uh, I want to know if I can cast. Uh, can I cast Stomp, please? Uh, can I have that for two hundred, Alex? Uh, hold on. Let me uh, look at rulings for adventure cards. Yeah, please, level one judge over here. Go at it, opponent. Our opponent has dope swamps. Sure. Whatever. 
Well, you put some respect on these dope swamps. No. I'm waiting for our opponent's fatal push. Corpus Knight, you got it. Oh. Yeah, I see. The beatdowns are starting. This is what I was worried about. Yeah, but I mean, like, our other option wasn't better. We, we're, we're in the same situation, and we've given up. Uh... I'm just saying here, if there was a shock in that, that's still probably the right play. I mean, no, because we can just cast it here. We've, like, lost one life. Ooh. Is that, for any reason, better than the other Swift Spear? Uh, not if we can't cast the bone with the Stomp. It app. says we can cast Stomp. Okay, when all I right, click so on play it. the... Do we just play the Young Peasy and then play the Stomp? That's That was, well, was what I was thinking, but Swift Spear does I, the deeps. No, I doubt to play the Young Peasy and then Stomp. So at least it can block? Yeah. The token can block? I'm fine with this. Yeah. Stomp, Are we stomping yeah. the Blocker or the Wayward Serpent? Uh, they both do the same thing. Um, this one gains him life. I want to kill the Blocker. Like, hmm. don't you? I, I kind of do, but this this does gain him. They only have two done. cards left in hand. Mm -hmm. I just want to bash. Like, I like think we kill the blocker. We'll do it. It is the guaranteed damage. Um, yeah. I won't and then this. next turn, if we don't draw anything, then we can play our. Also, you should have played the battlefield for instead of our mountain in hand. Yes, yes, I should have. Yes, I should have. Yeah, so now we get to play a 4-3 and a Swift Spear next turn. Yes, we do. Yeah, playing that was a little bit of a miss, because then we could have had a fifth land for some shenanigans. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. This show's back up there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Uh, left now. Yeah, you Goodbye, got it. Bye, Battlefield thing. Forge. We'll miss you. We will. Alright. Ooh, I want to top deck to land, because I think they miss a land one turn, so. Death Baron. Oh, they got a loud. This is going to be the matchup where I, uh, I, I'm happy that we get those shock effects, because we need, we've needed a lot of them. Yeah. We're at not a lot of, not a lot of life, too. So depending on how they attack, do we just, like, block? We definitely do, yeah. There's a reason they didn't attack with that one, because I was like, we just definitely double block. Um, I'm willing to pitch a token, probably, to save some life. Okay. My only concern is, like, if we don't draw a removal spell, we're kind of... We're in tough waters, because, like, we can't necessarily profitably attack into this thing anyway, you know? Sure. Um, but I don't know that we can go to two, because they can just kill us with a uh, creature yeah. plus something else. So let's block here, I suppose. Any argument to double blocking here or anything like that? Or blocking here also to take no damage? Um, I mean, you could just trade with a Dread Wanderer. Like, that seems also kind of fine. They can't get it back this turn? No, they can get it back next turn, though. Sure. But then they're spending their two, two mana to do it, and Ender's tapped. True. I'm, I'm fine with it. I don't it know. does I... get a trigger, though. It does get a trigger, though, so that's the other thing. Hmm... Does it? Yeah, well, and when it enters, it'll get a trigger. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um, I'm down to not block with the young pyromancer, though. All right, we'll do it. Like, going to five seems okay. I assume their last card isn't a fatal push, because it seems like they would have played it, but I suppose if it is, it could be one more thing to yeah. think about. Hey, Ponit, what you thinking about? <laughs> Murdering us. Wow. Rude. Hmm. Well, now we're playing, uh, just playing all our stuff, I think. Yes. Man, if we had that Battlefield Forge, we could have played our whole hand. We could have. We could have. Uh, we're going to play this. 
Because this will get no, attacked. I'd, I'd rather throw. I'd rather throw away a Swiss spear than a Soul Scar Mage. Is my thing. I mean, we have plenty of Swiss spears to throw away. Okay. Plenty of Swiss spears to throw away. I'm not worried about our swift economy. Um, we're not throwing anything away, right? I don't want to attack no. these things. No. Like the argument to like block the Dreadwander is they spend two mana just to get it back, and we drain. Like I think there is actually a good argument to have blocked that. Yeah, but that's totally fair. It does cost three. So it does cost. It does make a lot of their turn. So uh, I think it's fine either way. If we had a dude like making another blocker is definitely relevant. So like if we kept it and we did draw action, mm -hmm. it may have been an out to win the game. Okay. Yep. Ooh. Are we just yeah, dead? We are. Because it amasses. Yeah. Yeah, a trigger a piece. There we go. Awesome. Well, that was uh, that was fun getting to kind of see All that. Right. So. Uh, we're boarding in these rampaging Frostodons. Yeah, we are. Come on. You ain't gaining no life today, opponent. Um. No, we don't want those. Well, I don't even know what it does. Come on, card, you, card preview. That was, you that's for our inverter matchup. Okay. Well, it is removal. Um. No, I think we're fine with the removal. Yeah. Um. What do we want to get rid of? We, like, man, do we get like God's willing? Do we cut Maybe down? it doesn't seem like all that great in this matchup, but we didn't see the removal, you know? Yeah. Uh, we get rid of God's willing. This or card does maybe... not seem at its best here, actually. Yeah, we probably get rid of Boros Charm. I mean, this card's generally good, but like, I don't want to get rid of Bone Crusher Giant because it's like one of the best cards in the deck. We kind of like yeah. have to have this almost. Maybe this what is the answer, but cut... it just feels like we have to have this. Huh? It just feels like we have to have light up the stage. What if we cut, like, two Boros Charms and the Satyr's Cunning? I'm down. Alright. Go back to whence you were, card previewer. Alright. This is us. Let's do it. I was thinking about you. I was thinking about you. <laughs> Alright, back for game two here. Would we like to play first? We'll play first. Uh, yes. Okay. Here we go. Well, hmm. Uh, that seems all right. We can wild slash an early dude. Play, uh, play a young PZ. Play a. Uh, we're play. Yeah. We're doing the classic PZ into rampaging Frostodon. Yeah. Love it. Love it. All right. So we're keeping the sand. Yeah. All right. Well, this is not a May either. I was no. wondering if we could just uh, not make our Toki Tokis. No, 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 no. Okay. We're, We're fine. This all, is fine. All we know is pain, Chris. All we know is pain. We won't have to worry about our tokens dealing damage to us. Like, their stuff will do damage to us, and our stuff will do damage to us. It'll be great. Yeah. No, it's okay. Your turn, opponent. I respect the zombie tribal, though, I do. Yeah. Uh, that just eats a shock right now. What? No, it doesn't. We, we no, need this right, shock for right, our stuff. You're right, you're right, you're right. They got way better cards. Hmm. Alright, we're hmm. playing this thing. So depending on how things go here, if mm -hmm. they play like a lord, right? Right. You, we can we can wild slash the lord. Right. Attack, then play light up the stage. That's the game plan. I'm seeing it. Oh, you get us for two, homie. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. If only we have that ferocid on out. Um. Do we just slam ferocid on here now? Like they can't deal with ferocid on is the thing. Maybe. I think we just take this turn off and just slam the frosted on. All right. I'm willing to do it. Like it can't be pushed. We live by the we live by the dino, die by the dino. Oh, we got a reader. Let's see. Uh, let's see this chat log here. Bet you weren't expecting that one 
This chat, this is this is a lot better if you can type faster. Yeah, sorry. I'm reaching around a microphone, I'm doing a little reach around right now. Yeah. What about, mm -hmm. Are you also reaching around a fat cat? Uh, I am not reaching around the cat. The cat's on the ground right now. Oh, okay. Is he mad about that? Oh yeah, he's 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 raging. Yeah. My opponent has no response for your shag. No, they don't. They don't. Our little Cree 3 logo is blocking the chat, but that's okay. You don't need to see what I typed anyway. I said it. Chris is being real mean and uh, is saying some really harsh things to our opponent. Oh my gosh. He may sound and look like a cute, cuddly teddy bear. Oh, I've never seen that card before, he says. <laughs> All right. You can just get that out of the way. I need to see actual information. There's no, there's no information there. I, I need that information, Chris. Please move. Please move the young peasy. There's nothing there. No, it will be there later. Please move it. I don't think it will be. Oh, there's the let's die. Chris, can you please just move it for me? All right. Thank you. There's nothing. Nothing shows up there. Uh, yeah, you take your damage. Do I have to click it? Yes. Always yield. No, I may want. I may want to kill my own frost on your response. Okay. Well, guess what? It's a shock next turn. Man, this creature's have death touch. This doesn't feel good. Well, we're gonna take six here. Or seven. Do you wanna block? Because now we're gonna start making no, tokens. I don't wanna block. I want this frosted on. Alright. We're gonna take a lot of damage here. <laughs> that we're taking six. Or seven. It's fine. We can go to eleven. Alright. Then, we then we're going to take the one from this, one from this. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. But they block, though. Yeah. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they hella block, though. They hella block. All right. All right. Uh, let's play uh, this tap to pass the turn, and we're going to block stuff. Yeah. Okay. No. We have nothing going on, opponent. Absolutely nothing. Worry not. Attack like nothing's happening. All right. Okay. Do we want to throw away our young PZ? I kind of want to. Um, I want to, like, block here. Well, first um, we kill the Lord. Well, we're going to block first, right? Just no, because I want to block. I'm just going to block the token. You want to what now? We can, we can shock mm -hmm. the Death Baron. Right, right. Then we get a token to block the army. Because then it becomes okay. a one-one. Oh, then the army becomes a one-one. Yes. Yes. The I death do. brand's I giving like their guys this. plus one plus one. I like this. Well, I, I understand that part of it. It was more the uh, sure. It was more the uh, kidneys choking a block thing is 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 relevant here. But kills that thing. we could block. Um... Okay. Yeah. So this now... was good. This was good. So now you can trade like Lazatep Reaver with Young PZ, mm -hmm. kill like, and then you eat their Diagraph Ghoul with our we're right. Rampage of Frost. This is on. this is the strategy. I like it. Block here, block here, because we no longer want tokens. Do we want one more token for any reason? Nah. No. All right. Because so we can kill their follow up play. Yes, we can. You got it. Take some damage, sucker. Boom. Yeah. You're going to take another damage, son. You're going to take another damage. Uh, now we don't kill their fallout play. We're going to save this wild slash. I like it. And we're just going to bash this frosted on. I'm okay with that. Then we're going to light up the stage. Ooh. Um, don't play the land yet, because we could get something off the light up the stage if we get to play it. Okay. Yeah, we're still bashing for three. You like that? Yeah. yeah, right. yeah. Let's do it. I'm fine with that. Like, they have to lose... They lose both of their guys if they want to block, because it has Menace. But they do. 
And our guy doesn't die as of right now. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, light it up, huh? No, after damage. Right, right, right. There's a sorcery. Yeah, now we're going to light it up. So light it up. Castle Spectacle. Up. God's Willing and Sacred Foundry. Cool. So God's Willing is interesting. Uh, yeah, play that tapped. Nah. And then let's, you can play our Soul Scar Mage. Let's do it. We don't want to give creatures we control plus, uh, plus whatever, plus whatever? Nope. All right. And uh, we're going to pass the turn. See what our opponents got. They do got quite a few cards in hand. Oh, I wonder what that's gonna name. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking alligators, wizards, zombies. Huh. All right, I was wrong. Crit that's a powerful okay. card. That's a powerful card. They're gonna take one damage for it. There they are. They're gonna take a damage. One thing I think we're killing is a lord because I do kind of wanna. We could respond to that anyway. They convoking something? No, no, they use this ability on this card. Tap three zombies. Oh. Opponent's dead. I don't think they realize it. Opponent's like... Are they dead? I think so, right? We can activate... The... How much does this cost? This costs four? We're going to have four, five, six lands. We can cast these things. Okay. I mean, they're going to be pretty close. We'll, we'll count it up on our turn, but math is for blockers, well, you know? Do we, do we, no, hold on. Do we need to cast the shock now? No, because we want a prowess. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah. That's my thought. I mean, if they're close to dead. We'll count it up now in case we do want a shock now, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be one, two, three damage on this, three damage on that. Um, two, so that's four, eight. five, six, seven. Oh, so it's not enough. Did hmm. you count the two from the wild slash? I did. Because uh, that gives the end breath gives plus one plus one, right? Uh, it's for sure plus one plus one. Oh, yeah. Okay, sure. So three, six, that's seven, eight, nine, ten. Four. So it's ten damage, maybe. Well, hold on. So uh, th that's eight plus two. So yeah, so it's ten. So we could potentially YOLO and shock them now, and if we draw one mana spell, we well, win. Hold, also put a stop in our upkeep because we can scry with the gods willing. I like that. I like that. Stop on my turn. Yeah, so just go ahead and slash them now. No, no, no. Don't click OK. You want me you to slash them the now? Wild sla slash them now. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're getting slashed, son. We're, we do lose one prowess trigger, though. But we're going to do this in hopes that we win. Hope we just get them. Like, this is the out. Oh, uh, yeah. I think we're probably in good shape anyway because we can block stuff. But I, it, this is way more exciting, you know? Okay. Uh, give this thing protection from yeah. black? Yes. Alright. If they have Fatal Push, this is like a little bit of a blowout, that's for sure. They definitely really. didn't cast uh, some cards. Alright. Okie dokie. Opponent's on vacation right now. Okay. Uh, we will choose black. Boom. Yes. Sick. Okay. Scry one. Put on top of my library. Top of my library. Yes. Draw step. Got him! Play, play our land. Sure. We need to. Uh, this is attacking creatures? No, no, no. We can activate this just now, right? Uh, we'll just ca let's just cast the Wild Slash now, just before we F it up. Like Not that we ever make story. mistakes here. Not that we ever make mistakes on this channel. Purely professional League of Legends play happening right now. Alright. Uh, let's just go ahead and activate this. I mean, now if he has a Fatal Push, we get blown out. No, it doesn't matter, because he can't Fatal Push here. Can't Fatal Push this thing, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, this has got pro black. This uh, they would need to kill something first. Yeah. Okay. Damages. Well, probably a little too slow this game, opponent. Unless you got some. Unless you got the Doom Blade. Oh man, if they Doom Blade this, we're in trouble. 
Okay, I was gonna say I'd be a little displeased if they waited all that time and they had the uh, the Doom Blade. Um, all right, let's just run it back. Mm, yeah, I'm 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 not super convinced on these Rampaging Fossils, but they were you know they were okay. You cut like you cut like Alpharacid on. Yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. Throw back in maybe a Boros Charm. I, I like the creature actually. Let's just do it. It's got Menace. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared to sideboard against zombies. No, 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 no. This is good. This is good. You did all the work. No, uh, no criticisms here. I, uh, I like it. Like so we're playing this to learn the deck, and uh, you hear that comment section? No criticisms. No criticisms. And uh, we're gonna see how we like it, and uh, see if we're gonna make any changes after these matches. Thank you, honestly, for throwing this deck together in the oh, yeah. kind of way that we talked about. That was awesome. Opponent. Opponent taking the draw this game. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Man. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess we're on the draw. All right. It's fine. We can still, like, Wild Slash a Lord. Well, I think the draw is the reason I wanted to keep it in case we drew a land. Sure. Crypt Breaker. Hmm. Kind of their follow-up play. There might be an argument to kill that. Yeah, I was thinking about that myself. Ooh. I think we now have to play that card, though. Yeah, sure. That's I'm down with that. What is Soulscar Mage slapping right now? Is that what he's doing? What's he doing? You think? Uh, he's definitely slapping. He's de I think he's definitely slapping. Could also be casting a fireball, but could yeah. also be clapping. Could Damn also cheeks. could also be clapping. Oh my gosh! Only top quality content here on Crew Three. Look, he's just trying to cast his fire spells. Yeah, he sounds his booty cheeks clapping. Yeah, this is a strong card. This is a strong card. Play stuff. Duress. You got it, opponent. We got like four different ways to kill your crit breaker. That well slash is gone though, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah that's okay. Yeah. It's that crit breaker's getting stomped. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can have a diagraph ghoul. You got a diagraph ghoul opponent. I'm about to stomp the yard. Do we want to let it live one more turn to make some tokens? Uh, we could, because it'll it could still die to a lord, or we could just kill the lord next turn. Like I'm not, I'm not super worried about crit breaker right now. Yeah, as strong of a card it is, I feel like it's more of like a stronger overall like thingy. Yeah. Um. Uh, let's just let's just battle. Yeah, I do like that. I don't think there's. And we could get him on the blocks though, since we're on the draw. Yeah. Do you want to leave? It, do you want to let it hang back? No, I want to battle. Okay. I guess if we're playing Young Pyromancer, there's no reason not to attack, right? Yeah. Is that what we're doing? You think? Yeah. I still want to do it. Oh, I skipped it. So what? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're just playing this Young Pyromancer then. That we are. Um, we could. We could stomp. No, let's play the Young Pyromancer now. All right, let's do it. Now I'm disappointed because we didn't get to attack. I know. I'm sorry. We missed our one damage. No. Now we lost because of that. We did. Just I clicked a little too fast. Just, just concede. Oh my gosh. It's over. It's GG's. If we draw a land here, it's okay. Like, then we can double kill guys. I guess it's alright. If we draw a land, it's GG for our opponent. I'm gonna I banish this. I'm gonna banish this fool to the Shadow Realms, what we're gonna do. That's oh, gonna get shocked. Oh, yeah, it is. Or stomps. Depending on stomp. if we draw a land or not. I mean, I actually like, I mean, they don't want the God's Willing, but I like just shocking here, then I swing with both dudes, and see if we can get them on the block with that God's Willing. Yeah, yeah, they've never seen Rampaging for Ostanon, so you never know what could happen. Yeah. It's the Wild West out here. Yeah, it's fine. Mm. Open right. the gates a little. Alright, you got us. You got us, opponent. Land, huh? land, land. Do we God's Willing for it? No. Okay. Hey, rewarded. It was there anyway. Rewarded. Um, Play this Stomp a Blocker? Yeah. I'm probably fine trading Young Pyromancer for Crit Breaker anyway. Yeah. I would think. But let's stomp that dude now, just so we can get our damage in. Alternatively, we could Young Pyromancer shock. Uh, make two that's tokens. Also fine. Go that's to also town. fine. I'm also fine with that. I like that play. We're going to take one damage. Ooh, don't doesn't feel good. Doesn't feel good. 
Um, any reason to try and get him with... No, no reason to try and get him with God's Willing, right? Uh, you can. And then just kill it post-damage. That's fine. Let's just, yeah, let's do that. So if they attack... If they block here, here, we're going to God's yeah. Willing as our game plan? Yeah. If they block here, here, we were okay with that anyway? And then we just shock in response Sounds to the good. blocks. I'm fine with that. All right, this time... Last time was totally intentional. I just didn't want to make your play because I thought it was stupid. And that's that, why... Hmm. That's why I did what I did. I slave over a hot deckless builder all day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, obviously, like I said, I don't ever misclick, so that's definitely what happened. Never. 100%. We never make mistakes here at Crew nope. 3 Podcast. Mm -mm. Um, uh, he's not blocking. I think you just do it now to get the extra point. Yeah, that was a good point. But, uh... I mean, we still have a time before damage. I wasn't sure what we were doing. Or not. All right, nope, that's well. okay. I mean, you just now we kill it. We lost a point of damage. Or we, that's we've lost two points of damage. I know it's my fault. It's my fault. I I, uh, I expect a counter in the corner for points of damage missed. Bath salts, too many of them. Man, are, are bath salts still a thing? I don't know. Hey, if you're out there doing bath salts still, let us know. Let us know. Tweet us at Crew Three Podcast, <laughs> and, and and then go find some help. I think that's how uh, the West Virginians are keeping off of. Uh, Keeping off the coronavirus. Off the virus? Mm-hmm. It's all the bath salts. Or they start testing. Yeah, probably. I, I <laughs> lived across the Ohio River from West Virginia, and don't get me wrong, I love my country roads. Right. They take me home. They take me home. Uh, but man, some of those people here, and you know who I'm talking about. We know. Uh, they're, they're the real rednecks. Yeah. yeah now that people it. here in Texas are like, oh, I'm redneck as hell. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, you ain't. No, you ain't. You don't even know. You don't make moonshine in your your in outhouse. Toilet. That's right. In the in, in the turlet. Oh, man, got? you can make sangria in the turlet. <laughs> uh, oh man, we got our opponent on the ropes here. They got two manas and no dreams left. And we're gonna stomp the yard. Yeah, we are. We're gonna take our draw. Oh, there's baby Ferocidon. We still have to stomp the yard. Yeah, we probably do. We probably do. Um, we're killing this thing. That doesn't seem yeah. good. Yeah. No, it is. It is? Because then, like, they just eat a token, right? Like, I'm I'm down to kill that thing and then, like, try and force the God's Willing block. All right. And, yes. I mean, the Rampaging Ferocidon, or even, like, the Bone Crusher Giant, is just get him a body bag. Yeah. Oh, got to put this on the stack. Yeah. Stacks on stacks. Stacks on stacks. We're not missing our point of damage this time. No, 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 okay. opponent. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not in my house. Not in my house. All right. Opponent's thinking real hard. I'm going to go this, because I just want more young pyromancer triggers. Oh, okay. All right. Got it. It's on an adventure. And then we bash it. Everything. Pyaw! Pyaw! We missed that. We, we did. Missed we missed it a couple times. It's okay. Back at it. Back at it. Oh, Mr. Kitty approves. No blockers, huh? All right. All right. You can't run forever, opponent. At some point, they just got to start discarding cards to make two twos. Oh yeah, that's their game plan. Hmm. They found the third land. Here comes the Lord. Here comes the Lord. Probably should have just made a 2-2, two -two, but... Alright, you play your Lord opponent. Oh, we're thinking. Oh. Okay, sure. Can we... God's willing? Yeah, that? we can God's willing. Yeah. I think it still resolves, right? Because it targets two things, though. That's an old Magic the Gathering thing. Yeah. If it only had one target, we would actually fizzle it, but it's target player Correct. and target creature, so explaining to the people yeah. at home. I know you know. But the people at home may not know that uh Man, trying to explain spell how spell skite works on certain things is uh is tough. But that's essentially that's how you blank your opponent's things. Like if we did that when they cast a stomp, they wouldn't get their bone crusher giant. Uh you know hit okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but since this targets two things, people at home. And you need to hit okay again. They have one legal target when it resolves. And so. you need to hit okay again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look, we have six minutes on the clock. Oh, do we? Sad. Yes. Hmm. 
We got a grumpy kitty over here. Yeah, because he's mad about your time management he skills. He is. He is about my time management skills. Uh, we're going to go here. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I think we both thought at the same time. Um. Hmm. Uh, I think we just jam and then just shock whatever they block with. Like, let's just yeah, see what they do. I'm fine with that. If they, even if like they kill a token with this, I'm totally fine with that, right? Like, yeah, I'm I, I want to stop if they, doing that. If they just go to block a token, then yeah. I'm down to just. But I'm sure they're going to try and kill the Young Pyromancer here. Mm -hmm. uh, at which case, then we shock. But if they don't, like, we just bash. Just attack now. Like, yeah, we'll stop running our clock out. <laughs> we got time. I swear to God, Chris, if we lose by two damage or our clock out. Yep. This whole channel's done. Podcast is over. Shut it all down. Shut her down, he says. All right, let's go ahead and attack with everything. I'm fine trading. Yeah, yeah there we go. I'm fine trading this and this. Yeah. No, I still I want to save it. Let's just see how they block first. Yeah. My only thing is, like, we could have gotten two damage in if we just killed, killed this thing before blocks. Hmm. Interesting. Um, we don't do that. We just we just let damage. it happen. We're casting a Ferocidon, probably, right? Yeah, yeah. Or giant. Let's Either do one. this thing. Yeah. Because if they start, if, if creatures enter the battlefield under their control, they take damage yeah. and then they're in shock range. Mm -hmm. So for sure. Uh, right. A little bit of a nonbo here, but we're at a healthy life total. So <sighs> go ahead, opponent. Yep. All right. There it is. Bring it back. Match one over. COVID ninety one. <laughs> wow. All right. We're hopefully gonna win this for the home team. We're gonna win this uh, for America. Back for and the, no for the world. For the world. Yeah. Uh, we had a kind of a weird match. Our opponent just scooped it up to us. So I forget if this is match two or three. Um, this will so be two. We'll, okay. Apologies. Yeah. Kind of weird. We had an opponent. Uh, thing. I don't think this we can keep the one lander. This hand we actually want them all again though. Okay. Perfect. I'll click the actual button here. So no Deal. white mana is the only thing. Deal. We'll take it. We'll take it, huh? We pitch in a Boros Charm? Yes. Or we pitch in a Mentor and keep in the Charm for spells? Uh, actually, we can probably pitch Mentor and just keep double Pyromancer. I like it. We'll do it. Bottom. Done. Is there upkeep step? We're going to go ahead and F6 their, uh, their turn. Going to try to play these games a little faster, guys. I apologize for the slow, uh, slow first match. Oh, play on some like mono blue aggro. I thought we put that card back. Yeah. Huh. Uh, we'll any argument for playing it. this card? No, we're gonna because we can wild slash things. Yes. All that is the argument right. to play that. Gonna pass our turn though. Opponent's gonna play an opt here. Yeah, they are. All right, they opted. We'll check the, the game log. Okay. Alright, yep. You need to move your uh Okay. Oh, I think we're playing inverter. Really? Yep. Is that a play on their name? I wonder if they're like, oh this is the uh The Cancer. The Bane, yeah. Um just run out the PZ. Run it out? Yeah. Let's what do else it. are we going to do? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Probably run out. We got we got backup planes here. We draw. We drew this guy back, so now if we get some, some planes action going on, we can make this happen. Yep. You got the fatal pushy push? Do they really wait to our instep for this? Blink of an eye. Blink of an eye, huh? What is happening? I don't know, but I like it. Do you? I'm a big fan of Blink of an Eye. Like, sure. But I don't like what's happening to our game plan. No, but... What was the original name of that card? Into the Royal? Yeah. That was one of my favorite cards, man. From Zendikar. I love that card. We've got an Evolving Wilds. Okay. This man's playing Honest Magic. So we want to land here. We got one. 
Uh, I think we just play Young Pyromancer and then just. Leave I'm with up. you, actually. Um, leave up this one just to be tricksy. Yeah. Uh, no, we should not take the damage, right? Is, is it the good magic play? No, uh, the good magic play is life total's resource. Yeah, I'm gonna save our one damage. I'm saving life everywhere. I'm saving our opponent's life. I'm saving our life. Okay. Uh, if they blink it again, are we just gonna shock them just to do it? Yeah. Okay. Opponents like another one. <laughs> oh no! Get Khaled out of here. <laughs> All right. Waiting for him to pay costs. Push. Yeah, I still. Man, if we if we had a God's willing, it'd have been would have been a different uh, story here. Yeah. But we gotta just be man efficient. Got to be mana efficient. We want our token. And we want it now. And if we draw land, I'm gonna have a fun time Boros charming our opponent. Yeah. We'll play this young peasy, then we Boros charm. Yeah. Um, the man, they must have wanted that mana for something, because they could save that Evolving Wilds to push like one of our three mana spells that they, I guess they don't yeah. know that we have. I'm going to assume a man playing Evolving Wilds also cannot afford that. Or a season. person playing Evolving Wilds. Yeah, sorry about that. They can afford the Temple of Deceits, though. Yeah, those are like five cents, if mm, even. Yeah. I'm assuming this is a man on a mission and a budget. A person on a mission? Yep, sorry. A planeswalker? Mm hmm. Uh, right on time. Yep. Right on um, time. Hmm. I mean, now we're just casting this, right? Yeah. We're going to be down first. I'm going to play yeah. this so I don't forget. Um, because I think I want to save the stomp. Sure. Otherwise, I'm fine playing. I mean, I don't know. We could just play this out if we wanted to. Yeah, but this is better if we untap it. with it, because like, if we do, it's yeah. pretty sick. Not that it's going to... I mean, I think our spell's going to get countered here, so... Yeah. I mean, but I don't see like... you. I'm still willing to try it. No, I think you still do it just to be yeah. man efficient, right? Mm -hmm. um, because other feels like good. next turn, well, like next turn you could play Young Pyromancer and then have like Stomp or Boros Charm up. Yeah, yeah, but this is getting countered. I'm playing Koss here, but that's fine. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. But it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. I don't like it. No, uh, I feel good. You can call me Doctor Feels Good. All right. All right. Go ahead, opponent. I earned my PhD in Feel Goodology. Feel Goodology. Where do you get that kind of degree? Uh, Apple. Apple? Uh, okay. So you get a free uh, pair of Reeboks also? Uh, no, you get Adidas. They got a Planeswalker. Sure. Walk the Planes. Yeah, I was trying. Oh, okay, this okay. also targets Planeswalker. What does that card do, please? Each opponent sacrifices a creature, is that what I mean? Yeah. That's not its best in this matchup. No. Not its best in this matchup. I'm going to go ahead nope. and say that right now. All right. Uh, well, another awkward draw here. That's okay. We're just going to play a tap. We're going to play this young Pyromancer. Throw my young PZ out there. I respect it. Um, do we want to tap out just to kill that thing? No. We like, don't. We don't care. Like, I, that's fine. Just let it, let it live. We let it have to start getting. We have to start getting beats on the board. All righty then. Let's go ahead and attack first, because I don't see why not. And let's go ahead and attack the real disease here. Yep. Let's go ahead and tap like this for a, a young a Salize. You're in damage. Oh, yeah, undo, my bad. undo, 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 undo before, before this, you click OK. Before I click OK and uh, pass the mana here. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> There we are. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have a heart attack on one of these videos. Never. Um, so have 911 on speed dial for me whenever you watch these. I'm waiting for them. They have like a drown in the lock. That would be interesting. No. Okay. If they push, are we borrow charming them? Um, resolves, right? Yeah. Uh, 
Goodbye, Elemental. Is there any reason? No, because uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna assume. I was gonna say, is there any reason to make another token now in case they have another one of those? But no. So that one under like this counter. Oh, even if they counter, we still got our token. So yeah. Fail the ruin. ruin. There it is. Funnily enough, we don't play any mount. We don't play any planes. Fatal push. Well, now we're gonna do uh, it, right? Yeah. Do you Boros Charm here, or do you? Oh, Ooh, pressure. we could make this indestructible. Yeah. I like that play. Yeah. Let's, let's try message. it. We are losing some damage, but... Um, permanence we control gain indestructible. Let's see if... Uh, I mean, it's going to add the text to our things. So I was kind of hoping he would feel the ruinous, but... How much more would be great is if they try... It adds the text, but I would love if they didn't, so we could just get them with the field of ruin. I know, that'd be hot. Like, if our opponent taps out to counter this, like, I think that's good for us. They're just going to cast like, another removal spell. This yeah. is acceptable to me. This is very much acceptable. Yeah. Because now, next turn, we can untap, stomp, and yeah. cast the, the giant. Yeah, we can. Our opponent's got no cards in hand, and if they, like, minus Narset here, right? Like, mm -hmm. We're going to kill that with this thing. I'm not letting that live at one. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Like this yeah. turn. I suppose we Actually, could. Do we have no, any draw spell effects? They can't minus anymore. We're not drawing yeah. two cards. Yeah, like. good call. Good call. No, you, we are going to let it live at one. Yeah, probably so. It's going to have like thinking. Well, what do we have to draw cards? Everything scries. Or like uh, the light up the spade isn't isn't technically yeah. a draw thing. So uh, they got right. Jason Raveler secrets. That's fine. You got it. I don't remember what that card does. They scry right. when they draw a card, or they bounce a creature. Okay. And they um, get an emblem that does something. That'll be pretty good against their token. Uh, uh, we can't do it all, though. I still say we just jam Swift Spear here. Yeah? They have Jace in hand, like... So that's their only card? Yeah. Then you just, like, Bone Crusher Giant them, and then we can Bone Crusher Giant next turn? That's true. If they bounce it, like, we get insane value? Yeah. I like it. So we're casting this. We're attacking them for the two. We're gonna cast regular bone crusher, bone crusher giant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can we do all creatures at them? Yeah. All right. We got this Emberth in play. Probably not going to be around for too much longer, but... Okay. Okay. It's the big boy. It's a 4-3. It's a 4-3 opponent. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get two more cards this turn, but if they, they'll have to essentially tap out to play the Jace. That they will. And we'll probably have to kill Jace, right? It just is too much yeah. value. No, we, we'll have to kill Jace. Okay. So they drew a land for the turn. playing jace here okay so we're not going to get feel the rune this turn so we're playing jace like two it. mana up yep that's fine i'm gonna read that a little more i got a card preview for that though i suppose no essentially we're just gonna kill it because they just get to draw and scry every turn like we're just gonna kill it yeah it's, yeah that's they're fine. bouncing it um now we get to stomp them deal it three damage and recast the giant yeah All right, so we're just gonna hold on to that. Hold um, on this. Yeah, hold on to the Sacred Foundry. Okay. Um, so we're gonna yeah, stomp so now them. We get to stomp them. Stomp, cast at you, sir. Prowess. Okay. Yep. Okay, we're going to go to attackers. We would like to attack with all creatures at Jace. Jace. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay. And then another main phase. Let's go ahead and cast our neuter. Let's go ahead and cast it like so. And you want to hang on to this thing? Uh, It's up to you. I mean, I'm down to, like, because in case they have, like, a Thoughtseizer or Duraster type of thing, like... Um... 
The thing is, like, we might want to play, like, we might, might want to cancel Embrith and cast, like, a Young Pyromancer or something, maybe. Like, that's fine, but then we can just play next turn. Yeah, I guess so. All right, like, we'll, we'll we, bait it. And we don't have a need to run it out. We'll hold it. We'll hold it. I don't know what they're doing with that too much anyway, but... This is fine. Hold me well. Well, that means our Embrace probably getting got. Probably. If they're, if they're thinking about it. They aren't oh, thinking they about it. Oh, they play land? Oh, yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we can slow in breath here. Yes, we can. Um, I guess we'll just activate it. If we activate it, they're immediately going to realize what's up, but I think yeah, we'll do that anyway. That's so. fine. Yeah. We'll just activate it now. Color this red and red. And these are the beats. Oh, we got the beats. Oh, we got the beats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They're at two now. Like. Whew. These are some beatdowns, opponent. These are yeah. some beatdowns. They definitely slowed us down here, but they don't have a, like a way to really capitalize on it. Mm -hmm. This is why, like, I like the idea of a blue back control deck, but like, there's no reason to not play the inverter style deck because like these decks are just too slow. Right. Yeah. Inverter's a blue black control deck, which is like a better win condition. Makes sense to me. Okay. Let's sideboard here. Um, anything sick for the control matchup? Some Chandra's? Yeah. Some fries. Fry seems uh, good, right? The Planeswalkers. Yeah, Planeswalkers, yeah. Yeah. Probably better than some of this shock action we've got going on. Yeah. Um, collected Defiance, does, does that do anything? No. Not really. Three manage to... That's really just there for the Inverter uh, matchup. Just for the Inverter matchup. Makes sense to me. Um, are we all in on Fry? What do you think? Like we want, uh, we want three, we want two. Fry. Let's play like two fry. Okay, uh, Boros Charm I think was sick. Um, yeah, let's give it a. Hmm. This is probably the place where this this card might be its best. Yeah, because it goes long. Yeah, let's uh, go let's some shocks. Just drop, let's drop some shocks. Yeah. yeah. As cute as they are, I don't think they're at their their best here. All right, this look good to you. Uh, we might want to play like one more shock and drop like a monastery mentor. Like we only like cheap spells, right? Yeah, deal a little damage to our opponent. Drop a mentor, huh? I'm about it. We'll try it. We'll try it. Just because we brought two two more threats in. Like, uh, mentor, just speaking, kinda, mentor just awkwardly runs into their counter spells. Is the thing? It does. It does. It's it's like it's also late game threat similar to Chandra's. I'm not 100 percent sure this right, but I'm definitely down to try it. You know, like I'm almost down just to drop like two mentor here and board in like another more shock. Oh man, I do not. I like mentor more than shocks because shocks are just like not as good. Like it's kind of just a damage. But like thing. they, they help down. us just trigger our dudes though. They do. They definitely like. Help like I'd rather cut like. But we have we like had some more expensive spells is the thing, right? Like yeah, yeah. Fair Honestly, enough. maybe we cut like a soul scar mage. Switch. I just like it's a cheap threat, though. Sure. That's the thing where like we can potentially overwhelm them early if they're not uh, if they're not ready. It's like our job is to like try and run them out of removal spells and counter spell, and then oh, we sure. just drop the Chandra. All right, opponent's taking a while beside where it's probably come back when the game starts, guys. All right, game dose. We on the draw. Hmm. How do you feel about no Lance? Uh, I don't feel great. Okay, but we'll uh, you have the mouse. Very true. Oh. Uh, this hand slaps. This hand does slap. We just drop a soul scar mage. Do we? Yeah. All right. You don't know how ready I am to drop a drop a wild slash and just like go to town on this light up stage. No. All right. All right. We're gonna go ahead and F six to our opponent's uh, turn. Lands are a little awkward here, though. That's okay. They're not dealing with damage. We just run battle. Oh, wrecked. Or now we just play the mountain. Yeah, yeah we just play this mountain here. Uh, we're getting swifty, right? Yeah. I don't even I know why I asked that. I don't even know why I'm asking that. Yeah, next turn, now we get the Soul Scar plus uh, Light Up the Stage, most yes, likely. we do. We don't have any effects for the rest of the turn, so take your damage and go. Go, go, go. Got it. Oh, Fetid Pools, Island Swap. Forgot about that a little bit. What? <sighs> Alright, um... Let's attack first here. Oh, I'm down. I 
Is there ever a world we're going to Boros Charm just to protect a Swiss Spear, though? No. Yeah. The reason I want to attack here is uh, to make sure we're getting the damage, because I think there's a reason to slash light up the stage. But we don't have to now because they took the damage, right? Yeah. Um, so now you I want to cast this made. first, because I'd rather yes. the light up the stage resolve, right? Yes. Let's see if we've got some kind of two mana counter spell. This is a threat, is guaranteed threat's the only thing, but I really do. I want this light up stage to happen for sure. And they, they might have like negates. Uh, yeah, or I was thinking maybe like a sensor or something, maybe would be the thing. Yeah. But even if they censor this, that's fine. Like we've got our we've got our threat in play, so. Yeah. Uh um, yeah, now we now we light up the stage. Let's do it. Light up the night. If they censor and don't have a removal spell, though, this is, like, perfect for us. Because, like, now we're Boros trying to protect, like, multiple threats. And that's yeah. that's what I'm about. I'm about that for life. Sure. Do these share a creature type? Oh, they do. It's human. If they get Witch's Vengeance, I'm going to be a sad panda. There's the censor. That's kind of what I was expecting. Uh, I mean, I would if I could. Game. Uh, it's kind of the Rubbins. It is, right? Uh, I bet they probably just Narset us here, honestly. Oh, man. I'd if be they don't have a removal spell. I'd be so down for that. Like, we're not in a horrible position here, honestly. Like... Oh, we untap. Uh, I feel good here about that. We just, we just play the Embreath, right? Right. Um, and I think we just go to damage and maybe just slash them, but I'm just fine just attacking here. We probably just hold on to Wild Slash for the time being. I think we do. I think they have something here. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm fine holding on to the Slash, I think. Okay. Happy with this. Go ahead. Hopefully they have a tap out turn and we draw a land so we can slam this Chandra. Yeah. I'm waiting for like a they try and kill something, we Boros Charm. Yeah. They fight over it, we untap slap a slap down a mm -hmm. Chandra. Can't have six anymore though. Is there a world where we just wild slash at the end of turn? No, I don't. I don't think so. No. Oh, they did play land. Okay. Hmm. Um. Like they probably just like I think we just hold on the Chandra until they just have to have like a tap out turn. I think so. Yeah. 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 There's the spirit. Okay, now they got something. Um. Well, this doesn't help Boros. against that. No. Um. Just let's. Man, I don't want to like run into another sensor here, <laughs> but like I also want to try the Chandra still at the end of turn. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about that sensor though. That's fine. Like if they Jace, um, then we just like Charm slash Jace. That's fine. Uh, just sack the the mentor. The mage or the Swiss spear? The mentor. The Swiss spear, I mean. It's like the Swiss spear? Yeah. All right. Just in case they cleave us or something like that? Yeah. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pass the turn. I'm going to let yeah. them try and jace us or something. And if they jace us, we can borrow his charm end of turn to deal four damage to it. Mm-hmm. And then go to town from there. Actually, he might die to a shock if you do that. If they minus on it, or does he go to three? He does go to three. Yeah. Okay. Blink Blink for an eye. Like that's fine. That's yeah. fine. That is one argument because we saw that for keeping the Swiss spirit, but I think this is fine. Okay. They are running out of cards in hand. Man, I don't know why they didn't just kick the blink. Um, well, they didn't. They also play Liliana's Triumph that turn. I mean, I, I, I if I was them, yeah, I don't Liliana's Triumph here. I just, uh, yeah, probably just kick the the blink. Um, all right, let's just play the Soul Scar Mage and see if we can bait something out, and then we'll play the Young Peasy. I like it. Hmm. 
Um, I just play. We still get to get the jam, young peasy. Yeah. We can wild slash for tokens. We can still pay through a uh, sensor. We can. You got two sensors, bro. No, they probably have their sabotage. Okay. Opponent added two mana. Okay. And then hit okay. Good. And forgot to cast their spell. Man, you know I've never done that before. So, man, <laughs> opponent. Well, we never made any these, mistakes. Making these misplays. Gotta go no, ahead and cycle, cycle that cycle, sensor. Yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, they had to. 100% they had to. <laughs> they had two yeah. sensors. Oh, feels bad. I'm sorry, opponent. That's okay. They cycle. They got to cycle. If you weren't too busy infecting people with your sickness, maybe. No, you no, would, no. That's uh... we're 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 being infected by its cousin. Oh, okay. This guy's just chilling somewhere in West Virginia, just being chill, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. All right. They're in uh, they're in Chinese Taipei and not actual China. Gotcha. Fatal push. Um. Hmm. I'm down uh, to wild slash. Yeah. Down to wild slash. Make a one one. Yeah, I, I so hope they play Jace here. It's dead. But yeah, at that point, that wild slash wouldn't do it a whole lot, so. Yeah. Chase me, baby, grill. Let's do a thing on this to each opponent. So this Chandra does not redirect? Is that what Correct. I'm reading? That is correct. Okay. That's a little awkward. The only thing is because I want to resolve this Chandra, but I suppose we could mm -hmm. even do that even if they play the Jace. Okay. So they're playing something. Oh, two lands. Three lands. Four lands. Five lands. You got it. They play Heroes Downfall. I mean, like, we still have to go for it. Like, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's too, it's too much of a game winning play. <sighs> All right, we got to do it. It's too strong. It's too strong. Well, no, no, no. This is fine because we get to Chandra here. Yeah. Plus to add two red mana, fry their Jace. That's why I keep you around. Thank you. I was forgetting about that two red mana aspect of this. I'm moving too fast. Moving too fast. All right, uh, fry it attack with this thing. And yeah, then, then we're going to attack them with the Soul Star Mage. Yeah. Love it. That's a blue planeswalker. Yippers. 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 Let's go ahead and go to some Dermages. And we would like this thing to attack Jace. We would like this thing to attack opponent. All right. And uh, we're in pretty good position here now. Yep. Especially like if we get to untap. Oh know, man! With, these uh, with the protection, up. there's no way. If they have a hero downfall, it's going. But they probably would have heroes downfall something else instead. I don't know. I don't think so. Tough to say. Let's costs. get that off the. There's a hero's downfall. There's a hero's downfall. Language. Language. Deal. That's not it, opponent. That doesn't do it. Deal. Yeah. Well, you sure murdered our token plus whatever. Let's uh, go ahead and flip, flip this thing up, yeah? Yeah. Yeet. Mountain, huh? Sad face. Uh, that's okay. Uh, just right. player advantage. Yeah, we'll play that and we'll pass the turn. I mean, like, here, if they still downfall, like, I think we'd yeah. just try and save Chandra. Oh, absolutely. So, this card's way too strong. Uh, by the way, Boros Trouble we're talking about is this is not say creatures, this is permanents you control. Yeah. Um, I'm sure you guys realize that because we're talking about saving our land, but relevance there is obviously saving the Chandra. There's also an argument just to deal them four and then they're at four. 
Like, we'll see what happens here, though. Yeah, I mean, I think we can save that to, uh, like, another turn or two. Yeah. Because, like, we can, if we flip this a couple more times, and start dealing some damage. Opponent has all nothings? Oh, the, well, now no, if we deal we some light damage. Stage? Yeah. yeah, let's, uh... They took the damage. Uh, we hit a mountain, yeah. Light up the stage. I like this musical we're getting here. I'm going to pitch that card pre preview for now. Oh, I want it all. Uh, that's fine. Just pass, and then we can bone crush them at the end of their turn. Yes. Like, like mentor on our turn. Yes, we can do that. Yeah, we can kill them on their instep, right? Uh, Threaten yeah. to? Yeah. Because, like, hold they... on, what's the emblem? What does the, the emblem on Chandra do? Because, oh, like, we probably question. just emblem next turn. Like, five damage to any target. Yeah, like, yeah. we're just going to emblem on their next turn. Like, yeah, that's true. Man, this is kind of tricky. So if they try and bounce this, we just all in them, and then try and recast yeah. this next turn, maybe? Uh-huh. Like, they counterspell this, they may not have a counterspell for this again. But on their turn, if we if we cast this, we still get the Bone Crusher Giant part of it. Uh-huh. Which is pretty sick. Dig through time. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think we just let Dig resolve. Yeah, we have to. We could try and kill them in response before they get answers, but... No, this is fine. Like, we just represent lethal right now. Because yeah, if they, they find Dig, right, like, they might just try and kill the Chandra now. Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah. And then we just save it? No, we just kill them. Oh, fair. Yeah, if they tap out, I see what you're saying. Okay, go ahead, opponent. They got greedy. Uh, just go for it, yeah. Yeah. You got greedy, opponent. Target opponent. All right. It's looking pretty successful. Well, there Boom. we go, guys. Successful, uh, successful there we one go. here. Uh, top of the deck, a bunch of nothing. Woo. All right. They got greedy. They got greedy. Um, yeah, saw two damage there. Probably something they should have played around. They probably should just untap for yep. the mana, but you never know. All right, let's go to uh, one more. Da, da, da. All right, guys, back here. A match, a numero, a trace. Oh, we won the die roll. Oh, we would like oh, to go first, please. We on the play. Oh, oh that's a snap key. This is a snap key. Now... It's not as snappy as I want it to be because these things cost some white mana, Ruckman, and we don't have no white mana. That's fine, I believe. Do you, I believe also. Let's hit the keep button, like we always do when we mean to. Uh, we're going to play the Soul Scar Mage and pass. What? We always play the Swifty. Uh, or are we getting two damage next turn? No, we play the Swifty. We always play the Swifty. No. I played some. What changed? We play Soul Scar first. It's the same two damage. If we attack with Swiss Spear now, we attack with it again next turn, and this thing is an attack. Alright. Boom. Um. Yeah, I like it. I don't know if this is right. You guys you guys tell me at home, but that's what I've been doing all the time. We're gonna be consistent. We're gonna be consistent. Though we've done that because we've had a spell to play the next turn as well. But when we don't have a spell, like I think you just get with the Soul Scar Mage. I hear you, but hey, you get the safe damage in here. Get that one damage on the first turn. In case they kill it, right? Boom, we got our one damage in. Waiting for our opponent. Waiting for opponent. Technically, it's the same, because, you know, hey, we'd attack for haste next turn, too. But, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. There we go. It's very, like, ASMR be off. Yeah. Did you like that? No, I don't like ASMR. Oh, okay. Well, Hate me in the comments, if you will, but I don't like ASMR. Yeah, that's fair. You've really seen any you like know, you really said ever seen any like average looking ASMR people. You know what I'm saying? It's like I kinda get no. the feeling that's not hundred percent of what it's all about. We uh, gotta we, we gotta kill that. that, right? Yeah, yeah okay. we just stomp that, yeah. Stomp. 
Stomp it real good. Stomp the yard. Dun, 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 uh, dun. You know what I have been enjoying? You know, as uh, scary as the virus coverage has been, uh-huh. uh, I've been really appreciating these aquariums letting their penguins wander around. Oh, has that not been the cutest thing? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and Google, is it Atlanta Aquarium? Which I one? think it's Chicago. Chicago Aquarium. That sounds right. Some, some major city. Google cute penguins. Some, I, think, I think just other cities are just doing it just to like, do it. Yeah, like, just to cash in on the karma. That makes sense to me. Yeah. I'll do the same thing. I'm about it. Um, but yeah, they're just like, Aquarius just letting their penguins wander around, and it's adorable. Oh, it's adorbs. It is adorbs. They just look at the fish. Because then they just the big fish tanks. They're they just do. like, I want to eat I all know. of you. They're just like, it's so much food. <laughs> what is this card? A oh, wolf alley. Ah, there's a. D- oh. There's a deck that plays this, and I don't know what it is. Uh, it's the mono green deck. Is it? Yes. Um, are we just playing a Bone Crusher Giant? We just play the Bone Crusher Giant. I like it. Yeah. No, the mono the mono green deck plays it, so we're gonna get ready for some Carns. We're gonna get ready to kill some Carns. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Or some Vivians. This is the for those that don't know. I'm almost positive this is gonna be the new take on the mono green devotion deck that's very planeswalker based, uh, where you don't have to sideboard, so you, you just have a Karn the Great Creator to tutor for stuff. Yep. Uh, and then Vivian gets the cards that you can't get with Karn. Yep. I love to. I'd love to see it. That'd be a cool kind of watch on this thing because it's kind of the new hotness right like yeah not something we've i don't have we even talked about it on the podcast yet we have a little bit we've got to talk about it a little bit i guess we brought it up but yeah not, not something yeah. we've really gone over not something i'm super familiar with either as i'm kind of ooh awkward that taps for two you got a jade light, yeah you got a jade light ranger man so what do they reveal good question two revealed cards uh they got a hydra. forest and a hydra yeah hmm well, we could prepare to make our things indestructible. Yeah. Right? Prepare for double, yeah. make it double. Mm-hmm. Um, just, just bash. Yeats. Um, like, if they're not careful here, we have double Boros Charm. Like, Yeah. Like, just go in for... Actually? Uh, oh, no. Never mind. I was dumb. I'm like, oh, we could, like, double strike and then double strike, but that doesn't work. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. Hmm. I mean, if this was like a one-minute spell, we could do that double spell. But yeah, you're right. All right, we just got to go. We attacking. Attack actually, it. we might save the Boros Charm, depending on how they block, and it's God's Willing. Yeah, I'm actually down to God's Willing, because I definitely, I kind of want to save both of these. Because I want to play a Soul Scrum Mage, play a God's Willing. Yeah. I'm going to God's Willing this card. Yeah. Get, more, get in more there with there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll take our... We'll save our one damage for now. Oh, we're gonna take two damage for that. That's okay. Oh yeah, whatever. Last total I mean, is a resource. For... We're not that worried. No, we're not. Oh, sorry, I gotta put these things onto the stack. Get our prowess triggers. Okay. We'd like to pick green. Yes. Um. How do I feel uh, about this card? Uh, actually, it's a cheap uh, prowess trigger. Like we can just leave it on the top. Okay. Because I think prowess triggers could be pretty relevant next turn. Yeah, and it's only escape two, so. Yeah. Um. We're gonna leave it. We're gonna cast this. No, 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 no. Yep. We're in our damage step still. Yep, yep. yep. Hit that combat damage step. Why does the beginning of combat step exist more than the end of damage step? I don't know like the second, like the damage step, um, exists for like cute like little tricks with the yes. maze of it and stuff like that. But mm-hmm. but other than that, all right, make a big please make a big hydra and fight us. No, they're just gonna make a big hydra because they're just gonna play it for. Uh three and double the counters you don't think they're going to play safe and try to fight something I think they are they could I guess they could just try and fight here there's a world where like, maybe we should have saved the gods willing so this thing couldn't have blocked no 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 no, no. this is fine this is better just because this gives us more options maybe yeah if they make a... Because, like, cause like, no, 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 because hear me out here, right? Like, I'm here. Depending on what they do, like, we could double strike. So they're going to and... fight. So we're going to protect. 
Let me take a damage. So next turn, um, we we can Boros Charm, put them to 10. Then we push through damage. It might be better just to let this happen, honestly. Okay. Yeah, it's probably better just to let this happen. Okay. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Uh, we can cast two spells. Charm. This is going to be a 3-4. Yeah. Oh, it's interesting um, either way. I'm fine to let this happen, right? And then we Boros Charm them for 4 damage at the end of our turn, and the next turn we get a Satyr's Cunning and have another Boros Charm in hand. Okay, so you're thinking Boros Charm their face right now is what you're thinking. Yes. Okay, that's what we're going to do. I like that play. Because the Satyr's Cunning is on the top of our deck. Yes. So now we can cast this and this, Satyr's Cunning. Yep, yep. Yeah, and our thing dealt damage in in counters. So, did it? Yes. If a source we control would deal non combat damage. Yes, because it's sound. fighting. It's a fight. Oh, not a... sick! Wow, I did not even think about that. Yeah, what we did yeah. was way better because now this is yeah. like six six sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now just play our no player status cutting first. It's oh, it's a sorcery. sorcery. Yep, yep. Thank you for saving that. I totally thought this was an instant. Wow. Almost a miss on there. And if they don't block, we just double strike the, the giant. Yes, we do. Yes, we do do that. I mean, we get it with anything, right? Because this prowesses. This is technically more damage because it could be six. Well, no, I just want to do the thing that'll kill them. Well, this will kill them because it double strikes six, ten. Sure. You got it, opponent. Uh, we just hold it. Yeah, just uh, just let those blocks happen. Yeah. Um, we would have been four, five, six, seven. We still would have been one off, so that's fine. No, no, no. no. You just save it. Yeah. I was just trying to make sure we couldn't have prowessed him to death with four, five, six, seven, but it wasn't. Yeah, no, because next turn we make a Sator and then we have Boros Charm, like. Yeah. I was considering that we wanted a Seder there, but I think we want to protect our duders. Yes. Just in case. I don't know from what yet, but I don't know. If they Ugin they us, a, Snow Boy now? They have another hydra there. Um, no, because they can't tutor and then play Ugin. They're not main board. There's one Ugin in the sideboard. Gotcha. This is another hydra, I'm guessing. Yeah, acceptable. Maybe we should have cast that, because like, if they fight this thing, we could have like Boros tried them to kill him. Uh, like, this is fine. This is fine. Let the fight happen. Okay. Because they're forced into blocking our giant, most likely. Mm-hmm. We want to make a Seder now is the thing. No. Now we can just attack. Yeah, we're serving with this thing for sure. I guess we serve with both. We're, we're yeah, we're attacking with both. Because they just block yeah. the Seder, they're just dead. Right. And we just play the Mentor and Pass. Like if they have the third hydra, like what are like we can't do anything about that. Like sure, yeah, and like I said, they're still in trouble if they do. Um, going back, I th I, th I think there is maybe a reason that we should have Boros Trump instead of God's Willing, just because God's Willing helps protect better from the the fights. Maybe sure. It seems like something.
Like even lands okay because it gives us access to Satyr's Cunning in Boros Charm. Yeah. Okay, Nissa. Yeah. They can make five mana here. Have they played their land yet? No. I don't think they have it on land. I think they would have just played it. Yeah. Oh, what makes it a 3-3? Three, three? For some reason, I thought yes. it's made a 5-5. Five, it's five. a 3-3. Three, three. Okay. They have, okay, Jade Light Ranger. Okay. Burning Tramissary. Is that another yes. Hydra? No, that's the Hydra from earlier. You didn't okay. clear it out. Perfect. They're leaving the Burning Tree on top. That makes sense. So they delete weird. one of the Burning Trees. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, so yeah, so we'll just shock. Cast this thingy. Yeah. Let's get rid of... It doesn't matter what yeah, we get rid of. It doesn't matter. Okay. I may have messed up the order in which I did that. It's actually relevant here. No. No, it's not super relevant because it can't attack. It's not, it can't yeah. attack. Yeah. And we're just going to attack him. They block with this, so we're giving this protection. Is that what we're doing? Uh, well, let's just see what they do first. You got, uh, no, 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 don't click okay. They have to block here. Yeah. Um, it's either in a shock or a double strike. It doesn't matter what mode you give it. Well, that's true. Hmm. Let's give all of our permanents indestructible just in case, I guess. I don't know. Sure. Let's give. Oh, I'll keep messing that up. I have to remember that from now on. We have a lot of mana, but this is in their hand. Not really, because we're not net gaining any mana off of Nyxos yet. One, two, three, yeah. They will once they emissary, though. Sure. And that's Freezy's. But they only have one other card in hand? Yep. Yep. They still net a ton of mana, though. Right? I mean, I can't do anything, so go to town opponent. Do we have enough mana? Yeah, we can Satyr's Cunning twice, make a bunch of Paros triggers. No, we need a land to Satyr's Cunning twice. Yes, yes, we do, but that was my... I was, I was sorry, I was saying if we drew a land, was my thought. Yes. We have cards in Graveyard to Satyr's Cunning twice. Right, that's, yeah. Yeah, still some good blockers, though. Yeah. Uh, that gets an Ugin, right? They can't cast it. Ugin is... Is Ugin 8 or 9 mana? I mean, they still have a forest untapped. Oh, yeah. Ugh. That's annoying. I figured that was probably their last card. They weren't casting it, so... Sure. I mean, I don't... I get what you're saying with the God's Willing, but I think this is the best way we could have played this game. Okay. I'm just asking a question about... Uh, just revision is something to talk about, you know? Sure. Hmm. Like, it's better to say the Boros Charms there because they just do more for us. Like, there's there are so many times where they just didn't block, right? Like, Yeah. Okay, so making a 4 for Walking Ballista. That's a good one. Yeah. 
It's five. Let's just scoop it up. Yeah. Couldn't beat him down fast enough in that one. Um. Do we have a great answer to this? No. We just have to run it back. Yeah. Any reason to play uh, Chandra for a long game, or do like, we have to just beat him down no, too fast? We, we're just going to lose any long game. Yeah, fair enough. All right, let's go. Yes, please. Ugh, no, right? Uh, I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, this is this is what happens if we don't, you know, like, if we don't keep that. Like, that hand was definitely better. Um, I mean, yeah, but you got to mulligan aggressively. Um, we gotta go to five. All right, let's keep. Um, All right. I think I have to keep the light up the stage. Probably no, mentor has to go back. I think you actually dumped the light at the stage. Uh, what we're gonna get him on too, though? We go first. Okay, all right. Uh, probably mentor the gods willing. In all honesty, like. Yeah, I def it's definitely that one. I yeah, it's, it's gotta be the gods willing. It's probably the gods willing. Yeah, it does give us protection from their duders, but we're gonna we're gonna try this. Let's go here. Let's go here. And their only like main board removal is the Razor Hydra. Right. I see the potential here, though. Yeah. Do you think there's any reason to add, like, some more cantrippy type stuff just to take more advantage of the stuff we're doing? No. Like, I... Then we're just playing a worse feather deck. Yeah. I ca I want to try it. I'm with you that I actually don't think it's better. I actually like the way you built the deck. Um, Thank you. But at the same time, I'm like, eh. Um, are we just casting a Heezy here? Yeah. Trying to go trying to go at him next turn? Definitely. Okay. We just hope they don't get to just have, like, a big burning service every turn. Right, yeah. Square blockers. Combat damage step. Main phase. There's a uh, young... Oh, he's a he's a... All right. And do your worst opponent. I don't know. I just think, like, maybe Monastery Mentor is just an awkward card. Maybe we're just playing, like, a worse version of, like, Phoenix. We probably are. Play probably playing a little worse Feather. I think this is, like, a, a little bit worse Feather. But, like I said, we wanted to try Monastery Mentor, so... Yeah. We're out here doing it for the people. We're playing this deck so you don't have to. And how many burning trees do we get? <laughs> I currently find this number acceptable. All right. Okay, Voyaging Seder. Uh, Voyaging Seder probably eats a stomp. Okay. You had to stop the rampy ramps? Yes. Um... We do this before we attack, so they can't block with it, right? Uh, I mean, we can just double attack and then to see what they do. Like, they probably don't block it, right? Uh, yeah, they're probably not blocking with this thing, I guess the thing. They're probably blocking yeah. with this thing here anyway. I mean, are you fine with that, though? Like... Because if... What, like, what are, what are we scared of them blocking? Yeah, I guess I guess you're right, because in this particular case, the blocks are good for us. Because, like, yeah. we're, we're, we're fine throwing this away for this anyway, pretty much, right? Yeah. Like it gets them off devotion that way. Like I'm definitely down. Like let's just attack, and then like if they do block that, they use stomp before damage, mm -hmm. so we get a, like a token. Right. Even if they don't block. Um, so they didn't block anything. You, we, we still stop this. Yes. Yeah. Because like next turn, if they nick those, uh, they're gonna net nothing actually. But no, we still do it now. Yeah. Like he's not from just like playing like an early uh, like Vivian or something like that. Yeah. Your turn, opponent. We got nothing for you. Yep, there we go. I was thinking about potentially bringing in the wear and tears, but I don't know that it's worth for just this, no, right? No, wear and tears not worth it just for yeah, that. Yeah, for that thing, that's fair. Ooh. Ooh. We wild no. slash this and we go, right? Because we're going to light up stage. Yeah. This is as good as this is getting. Mm hmm. 
like we finally have a chance to actually like mm-hmm. I agree to like beat them down faster than they can cast their stuff alright boom go we go. in there go Bio! go Alright, I'll tell you, this is a good amount of damage. We're on a good pace here. We haven't played a land, so... Let's, uh... Let's see it. Oh, put that on the stack, I suppose. We got a lot of tokens. Yep. There's a... Uh, it doesn't matter which one we play. Yeah, it doesn't matter play. Let's play a uh, mountain. And there is an argument to play like the Forger to like make them fear God's willing. That's true. That's true. This is definitely a slightly better play. What you were saying that is. All right, so they finally have a good amount of mana. There's four. This is probably a voracious item. This is a Nissa. Nissa. I mean, that's probably dying. Unless we could just kill them this, this turn. Very true. Okay. Well, we're playing this. I don't want to forget yeah. that. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me, before we attack here. Let's think cease. Um, we get nine through. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, man. Feels bad. So we probably do just have to just bash at Nissa. Mm-hmm. Or do we just bash them for nine and just give them a turn? Man. Like, hear me out here, right? Like, yeah. we just bash for nine, lose the young Pyromancer, play Bone Crusher Giant plus Soul Scar Mage, and we. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm What's the about biggest this, walking ballista they can make? Is my thought. Well, the problem is like also like if they Karn and go. Well, they can't Karn for. Uh, they can make a pretty big walking ballista. You're right, but then we still have the Boros Char. Like I don't think we can just cast Boros Char. Um, well, we can't. Um, man, <sighs> let me just try and think here because they yeah. can't Vivian. They can Karn for ballista, and that's about it, right? Like they can't Karn for Ulamog or Emrakul. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we just bash. They're gonna take a bunch of damage, and then we just play Soul Scar Mage, Bone Crusher Giant, pass. So if, if if we do that though, they're only taking the four, right? Because they're gonna block this, and they're gonna take sure. four to six. Hmm. This is I'm fine with that. Game. It is. It is. But I th that's probably our best play. Yeah. Because then we still have a Boros Charm and a bunch of Duders. Yeah. Because I don't think we can afford to, like, do this. I think we have to go with them. Because then Boros Charm plus whatever is lethal unless they can gain life. Like, even if they cast a massive Walking Ballista. So we're going to just yeah. gonna attack them for a million. By a million, I mean not very much, and they're going to kill this, and that's okay. Yeah. We're attacking them. This is the aggro life. Live by the sword, die by the sword. And maybe they should block this instead. No, okay. Makes sense. All right. Okay. Cast this. Cast this. Like now we just have to get two damage through. Is the thing like? Yep. It's probably gonna happen at some point. So, but yeah, they do have a lot of mana. This isn't tapped for quite enough just yet, but like one burning trimissary does it. Yeah. Uh, they probably would have cast more early though to get more stuff if they had it. Two, four, six, seven, nine. They do a lot. Yep. Yeah, okay. I find that acceptable though. I think I think that's us wins the game though. Right? That was too much mana to Well, pay. hold on, because so now they get to Nykthos. Oh no, because they tap Nykthos for mana. Oh no, that's fine. 
Um, Wolf of Haven, okay. So they use Nissa to untap Nykthos here, probably. Then they get to tap for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, but that's already tapped, so like that's not as insane. Yeah. Well, they untap with Nissa. They do. Um... Castle, that's not great here. Get some a little bit extra. Interesting. Okay. Made a creature. All right, this is it. Uh, this is it for opponent. Yeah. Oh, this is game two, man. This is game two. But our deck did what it wanted. We beat it down. We beat it down a little yeah. too quick. So you kind of you kind of get to see what the deck gets to do. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's that's still yeah. us winning the game, I believe. I mean, they only have two blockers, so yeah. Yep. I'm gonna do hits for six, like deal. Like you can feel free, feel free, man. He's got them vigils. He's got them vigilances. That's that's fine. We don't care. No blocks. No thank you. Hit me with your castle. Yes, please. All right. Attacking them. All right, game three. We're going to run it back? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we changed anything else. Okay. 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 I was like, well, I mean, they don't sideboard. Like the deck isn't sideboard. That's only white and blue creatures. Oh um, yeah, I was gonna say, like, is it green or is it no, the no, green's an ally color? So it's white and blue. All right, let's run it back. Yeah, on the play, it makes it a little bit harder. Yeah, we're just gonna look for shocks. Uh, nope. Yeah, uh... I don't think so. Ah, I don't think so. All right. I mean. Maybe we have a light up the stage. We have twenty one land. Like I'm fine with letting this run. Like yeah, I'm just kill a bunch of their, yeah. All right, let's team. do it. It's, it's for, our it's our last game in the video. For like, the viewers, are, for the viewers at home, this is probably probably not a keepable seven. No, but, but we're gonna. I'm down to risk it for the biscuit. But yellow, yeah, exactly right, exactly right. If we get there, this is this is looking to be pretty hot. Ooh. All right. Well, what, what are they? Saying? What are they gonna do on three? Uh, well, no, you kill it now. Yeah. Yes. All right. As someone who's played a lot of Green Devotion. Yeah, I know. I hear you. I'm just. I guess the, the jump from to three is big. Yeah, I hear you. Like if they were betting on that to cast the Wolf Willow Haven on this turn, like I thought Wolf Willow cost two. I was thinking more like Jade Light Ranger. No, I'm saying if they were like wait, like exp like if they needed the mana dork to cast Wolf of the Haven is the thing, right? Like yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, gotcha. Um, uh, now we just play the the peasy. The peasy, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And there is an argument to Soulscar to leave up Shock just in case they like Voracious Hydra us. Oh, true. Yeah, I was thinking like. Um... So I was just wanted to play a Satyr's Cunning, but I think Satyr's Cunning is probably better next turn when we can just get more Toki Tokis. All right, opponent's coming out of the gate pretty fast. This is a Karn, though. It's just dead, right? No, it's BTE. All right. They had something they wanted to cast. There's the Karn. Um... Ooh. Welcome to what this deck does. Yeah. We got the walking, walking ballista. ballista. Uh -huh. All right. Like, uh, we're just going to... We were definitely in some trouble, but... I just... Uh, we're going to keep playing it out, but we're, we're losing this game. I tell you right now. Very true. Very true. Um, Because he gets to go find another thing. Yeah. Well, I was thinking we would find a way to kill this, but... Um, I mean, like, we can just shock it. That's true, one. we can just shock. 
Well, we're gonna we're gonna shock this and attack it down to one, I think. Okay. Because with from one he can't get it. Okay. Um, or we're gonna play. We're gonna make a token. Or we can play a soul skirmish. Playing a soul skirmish. <laughs> why? Why are we playing? I, I thought we were shot. Now, like our stuff just dies now to when he walking blisters. Next turn. Maybe we're going to uh, kill this. We're gonna make it so that this dies though, and get okay. this thing low. All right. All right, goes to one. He can walk Ballista for two right now. Kill our yes. PZ on our token. You got it? Jade light? I, I don't know. I assume this was the. Out of the brain tree. Ugh. Okay. Did not, does the opponent not have land? No, I mean, they still get to bolster for two here. They do. Yeah? Better kill it now, opponent. Yep. Makes sense. It all adds up. Hmm. Um, let's just swing. Yeah, we're going to kill this pre-combat, right? Because I'm going to attack both at Karn, put it back to one again. He can block here and... I guess he can block there and shoot that. No, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, yeah, let's just shock it. Hmm. If we want to get ballsy, we can also shock it. Shock no, them, light up the stage. No, no, I want to, like, guarantee we do this. Like, if this, this, we have to get caught off the table. If we're going to, like, do anything in this game. Um. Okay. So you want to shock Karn directly? No, no, no. Like, we shock the BT. What are you doing? Canceling. If, if we shock this, he still gets to block, man. <laughs> But that's but he doesn't get to activate uh oh you're right. Yeah. 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 Um So we're gonna have to we're casting shock on this thing. Right, Which I'm playing. Yeah. With. Sure. Cause we could still swing uh this thing at opponent still. Sure. If they don't block we get to light up the stage. Um Yeah, sure. Interesting. I was thinking they could double block. Um sure. But uh I guess I don't know that they thought about that, because if they double block it's pretty good for them, but if we have another trick they are screwed, so Yeah downside to that. So we're going to go ahead and light the stage up. Okay. Those are good cards. Uh, they're not lands. Not we don't have lands. They're not lands, but they're cards. And our opponent's going to eventually climb back into this game. Like This is true. Like they just going to start putting counters on their ballista? That they do. Deep size, deep size over here from a man. Yeah, because these are the games that like I just don't want to play out, but like we have to. I hear you. I mean, there is that time we were playing on arena where the opponent had us locked up, and then uh, 
their attack like, phase sure, glitch. I'm, I'm just I'm just saying like personally, <laughs> these are the games I hate playing out. I could tell. I could tell. Where like I just see the entropy creeping in, and we're just inevitably just gonna for sure lose this game. Yeah, perhaps. and we're gonna sit here and just waste the next ten minutes. Ooh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Man, I was thinking that last and, card was but, a blank. You know, but I, it was all gas. I appreciate your optimism and keeping the energy up for the people. You're you are welcome. Um, uh, man, we're but not gonna I play. Wanna... T- we're not gonna play too much longer. This is a tough one. If that wasn't their last card, I think we had a. We think we had some winsies, but. Opponent playing a sweet new deck, and uh, I think this is just kind of how it be like sometimes. Yeah, let's just let's just concede it. I want to see what we draw, but yeah, we're we're gonna do that pretty soon here. Oh, the disrespect! The disrespect! I mean, like, we can't get this off the table. Is the thing we can't? You don't think we can kill this and get this for six? Um, how? I don't know. Like, if we could do that this turn, I would say yeah. Yeah. But we cannot currently do that this turn. Well, I was thinking if we we draw a shock, that's uh, two there, two more there, that's two spells, plus that was four. Ah, Poker Strand, though. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and scoop this game up. This is this is unfortunately too much. And again, uh, we got five minutes on the clock. I don't think we're I don't think we're quite winning this game. But if 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 that was not Nissa, I'd be willing to play it out. But with yeah, Nissa here, sure. I I'm just done. Makes sense to me. All right, guys, we're going to be back in a second with our thoughts on the deck and uh, a little roundup for you guys. We'll be back in a second. All right, we're back here, Chris. Um, I think that matchup is just kind of an unwinnable one for us just in general. I don't know. Um, I, 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 I okay. I, Unwinnable might be too far here. Yeah. But um, it's a very hard to win matchup for us. Maybe so. Like I said, I think that particular game, like, wasn't that a game where we kept the one lander? You got a two lander, like, I don't know. I think it was a one lander, and I think we drew like, the inspired. No, but here's advantage. the thing, right? Um, yeah. We could then go to five. No, we didn't mulligan. That was the first hand we got. Oh, that wasn't a mulligan? Yeah, yeah, no, that was the first. We just, all we right, rolled with right, it. We, right, we, we said right. at the beginning, live by the sword, by the sword. I, I think that was a pretty close. I think if we drew a third land at any point there, we were in okay. it. But yeah, that's just right. one of those games. Like, it's, it, to me, that was kind of a classic control thing, right? Like, if you beat down faster, you do it. Sure. And to me, man, I, I think you built, because this was pretty much all Ruckman's doing while it worked today, I think you built a really solid deck. I, I definitely want to see, I definitely probably want to see the God's Willing count up t- to four. Like, I that card know. was just always I, I don't think. I don't think so. Okay, like, Chris, I think, I think, Chris wants the gods willing count up to four. I'll tell you that Chris much. also wants to play Phoenix, and if we're playing Phoenix in this deck, I just want to play Phoenix and forget Monster Mentor. That's true, but that was just the fun thought that I had. In in the realities, I think we could potentially up that gods willing count. Again, we don't have to. That, but again, if we play gods willing, I feel like we're just playing a worse version of Feather, and then we should just play Feather. No, we're playing, we got the Mentors. We're, we're playing Mentors to make the tokens. We're going wide. No, like, here's my thing, right? Here's yeah. my thing. This was definitely a, a, a deck we've been talking about for a while, mm-hmm. and I just wanted to sort of get it out there and get out of the system. Yeah. I think I actually don't like this deck a whole lot. Don't like it. Okay. I Ruckman. don't like it. Give me give me your rating. Give me your rating right now. Um, do, Can I get to critique it, or do you just want a flat rating right now? I want a rating, and then you can critique it. Uh, Man, I want to give it a two out of the four gods willing you say we should be playing okay okay just to give you flat numbers yeah yeah but honestly i think we're closer to a 25 percent than we are to a 50 percent. okay that's fair you, you, you think it's closer to a one out of four than a two out of five yeah two out of four then, then a then a then a three out of four you mean uh you said 50 percent, which i believe is two out of four sir oh sure all yeah, right yeah. all right well then tell me what changes you might make to the deck man like i just monastery mentor just feels so slow yeah. In this format. Yeah. Um, like, we played matchups where, like, it it wasn't as relevant, right? Like, it, mm-hmm. sure, like, it dodged his fatal push. Yeah. But, like, we're definitely, like, trying to be on the beatdowns here. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this format, you have to either be on a combo or you have to be, like, meaningfully interacting and just upending your opponent's plan, like, with, like, a Spirits deck, right? Yeah. Or you're just beating down super fast. And I think, like, we're taking off a turn to play Monastery Mentor or we're taking off a turn to play Young Pyromancer. Mm-hmm. We're just losing that aggression. Sure. Sure. That's very fair. So you think this is almost like a worse prowess deck type thing? I think it's a worse mono red. I also think, like, we're looking at Young Pirates where we're just the worst Phoenix deck mm-hmm. or a worse Feather deck. I think, like, this deck could be interesting in a different Pioneer meta game. Right. But where the current meta is, and, like, we obviously didn't see a lot of meta. Like, we didn't see real 
besides that modern deck, the modern deck I would say is pretty pretty meta deck right now. Sure. Uh, but like the other two games we we looked at here, um, I don't. know. I just feel like it's just the worst version of just a couple other decks. Mm-hmm. And you know, um, I hope you don't think I'm being too like overly overly negative. I'm just trying to be like real about this. No, that's fair. Um, don't get me wrong. I think it's fun. And if you just want to jam some games, like this deck is kind of surprisingly expensive because Monastery Mentors yeah. are like twenty five dollars a piece. In Monastery paper, right? Mentor too expensive to be budget. Um, but like if you have randomly have Monastery Mentors kick around, like mm-hmm. I think this deck is fun to play like an F and M type setting. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I'm taking this to anything serious. Sure, sure. Um, yeah, I think we could potentially next time make a like more budget mono red. Um. Any so you, your thing is you just think the monster I mentor idea is too slow. I think I think the monster is just a little too slow and too awkward. Yeah, like we have, like we monster mentor feels good in like a controlling deck where you can just play it on like turn like four or five and With have like protection. a spell left. Like like when we're just tapping it when we're playing an aggressive deck we're tapping out on three to play monastery mentor yeah and we don't get a token off it and then yeah. it just dies right like it just feels super bad it does i, I actually would be more tempted because i think this card was powerful when it got to stick around like we definitely made two or three guys on it and all those guys at prowess i'd almost more be interested to see this in like a like a mid-rangey or like tempo-y kind of deck with like blue okay. where we can protect it better sure that's why i kind of like the more god's willing thing is i kind of wanted to protect because we're not super threat heavy um, yeah. that's kind of my argument for but maybe we just need to be switching to like a blue white type strategy where like this is going to be one of our very few creatures and like we're all in on protecting it and then it's just going to take over the game because we're going to play yeah but again like it being center. on three is hard being our only creature to protect this is true this is true but like i said i think it's something potentially play on four or five but again it may be just not right for this format i'm just trying to think of like fun things i'm going to give the deck the same rating as you um as far of a two out of four i think you would probably give it more a one out of four because i think two out of four is like a little bit stronger um than than like what if, I'm hearing if, I, if i like give it like a full like numerical value right right like i want to give it like a 35 a 35 okay I, i'm gonna give it a 45 i'm gonna give it a little bit better than that again okay. you could definitely play a, a better version of this deck but like if this is your pet card like we love it like this was fine like you know what I'm saying? like we definitely had chances to beat people down we kept a risky yeah. hand we only played three matches like don't i definitely wrong. think i definitely think a version we can come back with is mm-hmm. maybe we just like but the mana just feels too weak like i think like we could have like a mardu pyromancer deck like where we're just thought seizing our opponents yeah sure and that with young our... he's a monastery mentor just or like, like a like black white like, like Black Will White, because Ma- mm. we, th- we thought seized to protect the mentor. No, I kind of still want Young Pyromancer around. Okay, sure. sure. Um, and I think the regular like Colgan's Command. Uh, like I'm thinking like I think like the like sort of like the old modern Young Mardu Pyromancer deck maybe like a lot of those cards do cross over right. Maybe that's something we look at down the road. Okay. Uh, but definitely like I think we just want to be. We're playing a card like Monastery Mentor. Mm-hmm. It feels really hard in aggro deck to have reactive spells spent on protecting the mentor sure. where i think i'd rather be spending our early turns ramping in like working up to a safe monastery mentor sure like prowsing up or whatever or pr- like no, thoughts like, using like our thoughts, what you're thinking. Thought, yeah exactly like thoughts using early removal and stuff like that early interaction makes sense well, right. well this is probably the first deck we played that we haven't really super enjoyed even though we've uh or we haven't super been super high on even though like we did pretty well like we we won i think we games did, we, and pretty much everything one, so. yeah yeah um so yep uh but overall again i agree with you it does feel like because there's so many cheap aggro versions out there like you could build the deck with just these cards and some other support uh, and i and i do for the for the viewers i do want to apologize i know my mood that last game um did did sour a little more than uh we sort of try and do um but uh, I'm not going to be a excuse. I mean, I just I just didn't want to play that game out. On, in all honesty, I mean that 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 just happens. Once much. that last card came down, once the uh, once they had the Nissa down, it was definitely pretty tough. So yeah. All right, guys. Well, we will let you guys uh, make your own decisions on this. If you guys want to pick yep. it up, um, uh, go real for fast it. though. Yeah. Uh, reminder: We are Crew Three Podcast, where you can That's find right. us on all your favorite on any of your favorite podcast sources, mm-hmm. and of course, you have the YouTube channel, uh, which you're watching us on Crew Three Podcast. That's and then, right. Chris, uh, what is your Twitter? It is at its underscore Christmas. And I run our main Twitter of at Crew Three Podcast. We'll go ahead and throw these down here. I'm there. sure. Yep. And uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's All it. Right. Thank that you. That wraps uh, us up, guys. Yeah. Thanks for, for letting me show off this deck, Chris. Even though I actually didn't like it that much. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It was a lot of fun. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.